How many adults do we see? Just the three females, so there's not all five. It's only three females, but the cubs are there, and they look massive. They obviously had a really good meal because there are some fat little bellies in amongst this bush. Now, they're not lying in the greatest place, but it is nice just to see them nonetheless, which is really exciting that they're back. They've obviously had a busy morning, these guys. They've walked a long way. Um, they've gone from Buffel's Hook, Manuleti Boundary, and then they've come all the way along through Juma and into Arethusa. So that's why everybody is sleepy, coupled with the fact that they've got big, full bellies means that it's now time to have a really good rest and they're going to do what lions do best and that is have a snooze so you'll find that these guys will be here the whole day they're not going to move too much i don't think they're going to get up and go anywhere until this evening again and look at all the flies on her face you can see she's got masses of them and this is often what happens after a bit of food is there's all this blood and bits of meat that get stuck in the fur and then the flies come along and they're attracted by that smell and they land all over them but you can imagine how uncomfortable that must be when trying to sleep and all you've got is these crawling around going into your eyes very uncomfortable I would imagine although it doesn't seem to be worrying her too much she seems to be completely asleep now they couldn't have chosen a thicker area to put themselves in. I don't think there's even space for another vehicle in here. That's how dense it is where they're lying. It's this massive Tamburti thicket. And so for us as people, it's not ideal, but for them, it will be the perfect place. If the sun starts to come out, because it started quite cold today, but it's warmed up a little bit and it seems to be getting a little bit brighter. So if the sun comes out, where they're lying now is going to be dense shade and it's going to be the perfect place to rest up during the day. Also, they're not going to be right out in the open, so they're not going to have too many animals shouting at them during the day. They're going to be quite well concealed. So, really nice place for them, but like I say, not ideal for us as people. Although we've managed to find a nice little window on that female, the rest of them are quite difficult to see. They're all curled up in thickets. I can't see all the cubs. At the moment I can only see three of them, but I would imagine the rest are here. Like I say, it's so dense that it's difficult. Ah, uh, there the other three are. I can actually see the other three now. They're off to the left a little bit. But it's so good to see them around again and spending a little bit more time. They had that sort of period where they just disappeared completely and they went up into Biffle's Hook and it was after that whole thing with the white muscle disease of those two cubs and I wonder if maybe they were just a bit nervous that being in the area was causing that and that's why they they just went off slightly and moved further north. I'm sure it also has to do with the buffalo being up in the north as well given that this pride is growing and there's quite a few mouths to feed so for them I suppose they need to keep going and keep sustaining all these little growing bodies and so going where the buffalo are is, is the number one objective. But in the last sort of week or two weeks, should we call it, they've been back a lot more and they've been spending quite a bit of time around the property. So it's really, really good to start seeing them more regularly again. And I can't believe how big the cubs have gotten. They are massive. And when we drove in, it's actually quite difficult to see them because they, as you can see there, there's an adult female at the back and then a cub lying in front of her. But it almost looks like an adult in front these days. It's really, really big. And they're growing fast. It's much like Shongila and Hosanna. They're bulking up quickly. Sally from Oregon. Indeed, this is a nice, comfy hidey hole. Um, if you're a lion, that is. If you're a person, I'm not so sure. I don't think you'd want to walk into this group of them at this distance because you'd get quite a fright, I would imagine, and there would just be lions all over the place. But for a lion, it is the perfect hidey hole. The cubs are well hidden. It's going to be shady. And look at her. She's completely out cold. 